Hi everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Marvel Couch Collecting. Today I will show you uh, the Marvel Beginners Beginnings Break to Issue set. The last time I showed you the, the base set and the base set also contained a Break to Issue set where you see here the first card is with all the comic covers uh, shown on this card. Um, and I think this uh, this set shows you uh, quite well uh, what kind of comics uh, covers uh, we have. And I really like to have this uh, in the card. Here you see the front and this is the back. Here you see the Spider-Man, the first appearance. Here you see the, the date that it is came, came out. And on which issue? The 15th. All kind of extra detail. And here you see Marvel Beginnings, the 2011, the first uh, Beginnings release was this. So nice, amazing fantasy Spider-Man. And the second one is Giant Size X-Men. Very cool. Deadly Genesis. I think it's very nice to have this kind of cards if you are a real comic collector. Because then you can have this card next to your comic book. And I think that will be standing out very nice. I don't have all those comics books. But uh, I really like to have the, the cards in hand. To get some feeling about how the, the comic books would look like in a bigger size. Nice Wolverine. First appearance of the Hulk. Very cool. Yeah, volume one. Nice. X-Men, where they really did the de details with uh, the hologram card. Or the hologram is the real card, I don't know. But the hologram that was on the cover. That's really nice to have that kind of details. 1993. This set contains uh, 45 cards, so you have 45 breakthrough issue cards, cover cards, um, and I have them all. And this is number seven. I will see you, show it to you. The Green Goblin, really nice. The Daredevil with Elektra and Bullseye, oh, nice. Of this set you also have a variant where you not only have this cover but also an autograph on this card i don't have any of them but they are uh, circulating uh, i think you can find them on uh, ebay uh, so then uh, i don't know i think it's the autograph of the artist i don't know exactly maybe if you guys know that uh, please leave a comment uh, below um, then I can also uh, educate myself uh, with your knowledge. Fantastic Four. Always nice and good memories when I was young. The Tour. First appearance. Always nice. 1962. Silver Server. 1968. Really long time ago. Wolverine hmm. with an arrow. Interesting. Never seen Wolverine with an arrow. I think he's uh, powerful enough with his own claws. Like this one. Really nice. Really cool to have this. 1999. Another Spider Man and the Lizard. Cool. 1963, you see a real difference in the comic covers that were in the 60s and the 70s and the new, newer ones like this in the late 90s, begin 20. X-Men, this is more an old one, 83. This is more in my region when I was almost when I was born in the I was born in the 80s and I really recognize those kind of covers for the versions that I have uh, had in the past. 
good memories, I remember. 87. I was not a real Iron Man, I was more a person that was reading the Hulk and also a Fantastic Four and Spider-Man and the X-Men that were the, the variants that I uh, have read a lot in the past and some of them I still have not in a good shape but I really enjoy sometimes to uh, read them again on a Sunday And especially when I see those cards like this, then I pick one of the comic books and read them again and feel that experience again of my younger me. The Mysterio. Always nice, the Mysterio. X-Men with the Sentinels. Very famous. I really like the Sentinels. Uh, not because of the comic books, but more from the the cartoon that was on the television uh, back in the 80s and 90s. I really liked those. Uh, I was uh, looking that uh, quite often on the television. I really liked the, the scenario of the X-Men where uh, when the Sentinels were involved uh, and how powerful they were. Uh, the X-Force. 99 one. Iron Man with Hawkeye. Well, what you can see, we are now at uh, number uh, 27. So, still a lot to go. Spider Killer from The Amazing Spider Man. Really nice. This run is really cool. I think a lot of people are recognizing this uh, picture, this cover. Amazing Spider Man, where the Hobgoblin is. Uh, Splitting Spider-Man. Really cool. Really cool. X-Men with Colossus Bullseye. From 89. Another X-Men with Cyclops. A lot of action is going on. Uh, Storm is also here. Real cool. 79. Fantastic Four with Super Scroll, Human Torch, The Thing. 63, a long time ago. Big CTC. I, uh, I have no memory in this kind of uh, comic books, The Ick Factor. I never read those kind of uh, variants. So I don't have a real connection uh, with that. But on the other hand, uh, if you just look at the graphics, then uh, those graphics are, covers are looking nice. Fantastic Four. Well, this is a new uh, modern uh, 2002 cover. The Ultimates, Captain America, 2002 also. Another Captain America, 2004. Yeah, I was not uh, in the Marvel uh, at that time anymore. So those covers I do not do not recognize. I have no connection with it, but uh, because I have this set, I uh, I like to have that, but. My preference is uh, going to the past. 2009. Annihilation. Not a tough word. From 2006. I have no idea about this kind of Marvel. No idea. Daredevil. Always nice. Daredevil. I like the, the series that was on the television. The movie movie is really classic. Another Devil or Daredevil Noir. Modern cover. And I'm almost through every card. X-Men Noir, never heard of it. 
Yeah, you have to deep dive uh, to see what kind of uh, comic cards, uh, comics uh, were in the 2009. 2009, uh, yeah, I was doing uh, totally different things, uh, working a lot and uh, building on my career. Luckily, I found uh, Marvel cards again and uh, entered the hobby again. The Invisible Iron Man. Nice. 2008 doesn't seem too invisible for me and spider Woman. this is the last card in this set out of 45 real nice cover also 2009 so this was the set of the marvel beginnings breakthrough uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching the cards if you have any questions about them yeah, please leave a comment below and uh, next time I will uh, show you uh, another set from the Marvel Beginnings um, uh, first series. I have the die cut variant and I have the uh, Micro Motion Prime card sets. So uh, yeah, if you have a preference which one you want to see uh, first, let me know then uh, I will record that uh, set as first. Thanks uh, for watching and um, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.